Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at Xubuntu 14.04 which is of course the uh, XFCE spin of Ubuntu and uh, this is a LTS version so you'll be having three years of support uh, for this distro. The uh, normal Ubuntu and the Kubuntu have five years and the smaller uh, versions like Xubuntu have uh, three years of support. So uh, what you're looking at here is um, a fresh and clean install. This is what your desktop will look like right after the install. And uh, they have a neat little new wallpaper here. And actually they uh, they uh, ship a lot of new wallpapers. They had a little wallpaper contest. And uh, But I like the, uh, the, like the default so I'll just keep that for now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's look at what's new in this release. If you're coming from the latest uh, Xubuntu, the 13.10, uh, you'll notice that they removed the uh, launcher that was located at the bottom uh, center here. Um, these application launchers, it's all gone. It's been replaced um, with uh, a thing called Whisker Menu. And this is the thing you can see here. This is like a little uh, app launcher. You have your favorites and uh, your different categories for all your apps really easy, really clean, really simple. Uh, I, I think this is probably the better way to go. Uh, I didn't like the launcher thing that they had in the last release so uh, this looks pretty cool. Had no problems with it. It's easy to understand for new users. It's uh, just great. So and also you have a little search bar up here so if I search for a calculator I'll just pipe that up and it's really really fast. Other than that, let's uh, look at the release notes actually. There really hasn't been any uh, big or major changes. Um, as I said, the most prominent change will be this new uh, app launcher menu thing, uh, which is called the Whisker menu. And uh, other than that, just the updated packages, uh, some new wallpapers, um, they have a new lock screen. Uh, if you had the old release, you remember the old lock screen was kind of ugly and bulky. Um, the new lock screen looks great. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because the video will stop recording if I do. Um, but other than that, no uh, major changes really. Uh, just uh, new packages and a fresh kernel. And uh, we still have all the same default applications. Firefox as the web browser. Uh, this cool file manager. This is really sleek and really nice. I really like the file manager on here. Uh, it's great for new users. It doesn't have too many features. Just the right amount and it really looks great. Um, we don't have a full-blown Office suite. Uh, so LibreOffice is not uh, installed by default. We have uh, Gnumeric which is a simple uh, calculation program and uh, AB Word which is uh, you know for text editing both are uh, rather simple programs, but of course you can install the uh, full-blown OpenOffice or LibreOffice at any time. So uh, I wish there was more to show you guys, but um, there really hasn't been that many changes uh, in this release. Uh, as I said, the most prominent change, the new menu here, and we have a new and fresh kernel, the 3.13 version, which brings uh, a lot better support for uh, new graphic cards and uh, a lot of improvements on the networking stack. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, Xubuntu, of course, it's always been uh, one of my favorite distros recommend to anyone who has an older PC. It doesn't use a lot of RAM, doesn't use a lot of uh, CPU. Uh, it's really easy to understand. The whole layout is great. So uh, yeah, it's a great release overall. You got three years support on this and um, it's great for beginners. Any guy that wants to try Linux, uh, this is a great first distro. So uh, I hope you liked the review. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.